Pep Guardiola is an almighty fraud, but not in the way you might initially expect. While some football fans question his success, given he's been in charge of the best squads and richest clubs across Europe, and wonder how he'd fare in less than ideal circumstances, such as Sir Alex did with Aberdeen or Mourinho while at Porto, I personally still believe he's an all-time great. Regardless of the resources at his disposal, to win as consistently as he has is completely unprecedented. Believe it or not, he's only failed to lift the league title in three seasons of his entire managerial career. Furthermore, he's completely revolutionized the way the game is played, with even lower league coaches attempting to emulate his tactical vision. However, for all his greatness on the pitch, Guardiola is an almighty bastard of it. While his condescending and patronizing press conferences are smug and funny in equal measure, the fact of the matter is, he's a serious real bullshitter, and that may very well go on to impact his legacy. When asked about Man City's ongoing case against the Premier League, Pep said, if City lie to me, the day after, I'm not here. I will be out, and I will not be their friend anymore. I put my faith in them, because I believe what they have to say 100% from day one, and I defend the club because of that. You don't exactly have to be a rocket scientist to know that Pep is fully aware of City's crimes against football. This is a man who not only keeps abreast with what's happening all around the world, but also portrays himself as someone who cares deeply about social and political causes, such as the Catalan independence movement. In fact, given 14 of the 115 charges leveled against City are in relation to providing accurate details for player and manager payments, it's almost certain he's benefited financially from a salary that's completely off the books, as has already been proven to be the case with Roberto Mancini and Yaya Toure. Taking this into account, I reckon Pep's not nearly getting as much stick as he deserves. Yes, Man City's owners are primarily responsible for creating an environment in which rules are broken left, right and center, but Pep's complicit too for ignoring all of this for a big bag of cash. So this whole narrative claiming we should appreciate City's players and coaches, regardless of what's happening behind the scenes, is absolute horseshit. First and foremost, none of them would be here if it wasn't for oil money. City quite literally had no legacy in the game when the takeover first happened, and were only able to attract and retain top talent by skirting around FFP rules through inflated sponsorship deals. Secondly, unless you're constantly shit-faced and have a single-digit IQ like Jack Grealish, there's not a chance in hell you're not aware of what City have been getting up to over the years. And that alone warrants criticism for anyone associated with the club. By the time this case comes to a conclusion, it's very likely that Guardiola and City will have lifted their fifth Premier League title in a row. But ultimately, that achievement will mean little if justice is truly served, as football fans can rightly downplay all that they've done once it's proven to have been through illegal means. That's my take. Do let me know yours down below. Peace.